Greetings. This week, we're taking a few moments every day to talk about God and creation and about the existence of God. You see, an atheist says there is no God. Now, when they come to us they, and we say we believe in God, they ask us a question. Have you seen God? We say, no, we haven't seen him. But we believe he is. But we can ask the same question of an atheist. Have you seen that there is no God? Is the atheist qualified to answer that question? No. Because in order to say that God doesn't exist, the presupposition is that you have explored the universe thoroughly, searched everywhere, high and low, and didn't find God. And based on that actual searching, you can then conclude God doesn't exist. But no one has done that. No one has been able to search thoroughly. And moreover, the Bible says God is spirit. So you won't find him necessarily hanging out in the natural realm, but he's spirit, he's in the spiritual realm. And so for an atheist to say with absolute confidence, there is no God, is not a valid thing. Psalm 139, verses 9 through 12, the psalmist said, Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in the lowest hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike from you. The psalmist is saying, God, I know you are there because of your presence. And God's presence is recognizable everywhere. So, atheism requires omniscience, all-knowing. They don't have it. So they're not qualified to say there is no God. We haven't seen God, but we know in our hearts by faith. And we also recognize His presence. And we say there is God. And God is spirit. He's in a realm outside of the natural realm. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you are so great, so powerful that your presence is without question. And we thank you that we can recognize and know your presence in our lives. We worship and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.